Welcome to Top 10 Archive. You know, they say that men are simple creatures. And for the most part, that's entirely true. But that's not so much the topic of this video. Instead, we aim to bring you 10 men who, well, you won't believe exist. You'll see where we're trying to go with this in just a minute. We hope. Number 10. Thomas Beatty. Starting off this list of men you won't believe exist is a man that, until a gender reassignment surgery, didn't exist. In March of 2002, Beatty underwent surgery, which included a double mastectomy and a real reshaping, to finalize Tracy Lagandino's transformation into Thomas Beatty. What makes Beatty's story even more extraordinary is the fact that, in 2007, through artificial insemination, he became known as the first pregnant man. Beatty became a media sensation, went on to have two more children, and used his life experiences to become a public speaker and advocate for the transgender community. Number 9. Stan Jones If you lived through Y2K, you probably remember the tailspin of panic some of the world went through. Fearing the complete collapse of just about everything, people prepared for the worst in their own way. Libertarian Party politician Stan Jones was adamant that the crisis would lead to a lack of antibiotics, and so to prepare his body for a disease-ridden world, he ingested a homemade concoction of colloidal silver believed to be a universal antibiotic, or a placebo, depending on who you talk to, one side effect of the colloidal silver treatment Jones put himself on caused his skin to turn a bluish gray. Worth mentioning is another sufferer of what we're calling Papa Smurf Syndrome was the late Paul Carrison, who fell into the same colloidal silver regimen as Jones and wound up with the same effects. Number 8. Gary Turner Gary Turner has a trick he'd like to show you, but it may make your skin crawl and may not be for the squeamish. Nicknamed Gary Stretch Turner, the man with the stretchy skin has a home in Norwich, England's Circus of Horrors, thanks to the wildly strange elasticity of his skin. Suffering from Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, Taylor may be dealing with weakened joints and blood vessels, but it's his paper-thin skin that he likes to focus on and put into the spotlight. Throughout his mind-bending act in the circus, Gary relies on a morphine patch to ease the pain caused by his rare syndrome, which affects 1 in 10,000 people. Number 7. Yu Chen Wan For years, China's Yu Chen Wan lived with a body completely covered in hair. From head to toe, save for patches on his face, his palms, and soles of his feet, Yu is covered in a steady growth of hair, making him look, as many have said, like a monkey man. Since two years of age, 96% of Yu's body became covered in hair, and though the 26-year-old went through vital years dealing with bullying and unnecessary comments, in May of 2015, the hairy man was said to have started a regimen of laser hair removal. In 2002, Yu was dubbed the world's hairiest man by the Guinness Book of Records and at seven years old starred in a feature film, Little Harry, that was written specifically for him. Number 6. Chandra Bahadur Dangi up until his death in September of 2015, the 75-year-old from a small village outside of Kathmandu was known as being the shortest man in the world. In 2013, the Guinness Book of Records honored Chandra with the record of being the shortest man at a tiny 1 foot 8 inches or 54.6 centimeters after being photographed with, well, we don't want to spoil our own archive, so we'll just say somebody else pretty remarkable. Chandra skyrocketed to fame. Unfortunately, age and his disorder got the best of him during a tour of the Samoa Islands. Number 5. Sultan Kosen Remember that other remarkable individual photographed with Chandra we mentioned? That was Sultan Kosen, a man on the exact opposite end of the spectrum as the tiny man from Nepal. At the time of earning his Guinness record for the tallest living man, Sultan measured at 8 feet 2 inches or 251 centimeters, a whopping 6.5 feet or 196 centimeters taller than Chandra. In 2005, Sultan took the title of tallest man from Shi Shun from China, who came in at just over 7 feet 8 inches or 233 centimeters. As can be expected for a man as tall as Sultan, his hands and feet measure at a large 10 inches or 27 centimeters and 14 inches or 36 centimeters, respectively. In March of 2012, thanks to treatment, Sultan finally stopped growing. Number 4. Carlos Rodriguez Carlos Haffy Rodriguez may have survived his car accident while he was under the influence of drugs and alcohol, but the permanent scar he received will always remind him of the poor decision-making that led to the large portion of brain and skull he's now missing. Carlos' appearance is shocking, but the fact that he survived being thrown through his car's windshield is even more shocking. Though he has spoken out against drug use, Carlos is far from staying out of trouble. 
In November of 2010, he was arrested for soliciting a prostitute, leading to his mugshot going viral and his story going very public. Number 3. Dede Kaswara Before becoming affectionately known as the Tree Man, the Indonesian man Dede Kaswara worked as a carpenter. His life changed drastically when the symptoms of Lewandowski Lutz started to appear, covering his body in incurable warts that left him bedridden until his death in January of 2016. Dede was married and had two children before his disease crippled him, and once he was unable to support his family, he was left by his loved ones to fend for himself. The brave man was featured in several documentaries and remained hopeful for a cure, but passed away before doctors could find a remedy. Number 2. Rolf Buchholz In August of 2010, German native Rolf Buchholz impressed the Guinness World Record team with his 453 individual piercings, earning himself the record of the most single-count piercings on a man. It's not just the 158 piercings around his lips, 16 in his right ear, 15 in his left ear, 25 in his eyebrows, and 278 genital piercings that make Rolf so unique. His body is also covered with modifications that include horn and skin implants along his arms. Rolf's unusual and slightly frightening appearance earned him a black mark in Dubai, which refused him entry in 2014 as officials feared he posed a security risk and was a practitioner of black magic. Number 1. Tom Staniford Tom Staniford is what some would call a strong-minded individual. Not letting his connective tissue disorder, fixation of the ankles, low testosterone, type 2 diabetes, hearing loss, and lipodystrophy get in the way of becoming the 2011 National Paracycling Circuit Race Champion. In 2013, Stanford was diagnosed with MDP syndrome, a rare genetic condition that prevents fatty tissue from being stored under the skin. In 2005, the determined man purchased his first road bike and launched a lengthy career, which was almost halted by a head-on collision with a car in 2006 that left him with a fractured eye socket, brain bleeding, a collapsed lung, cranial trauma, and further injuries. Despite the major setback, Stanford used cycling as a sort of therapy and rehabilitation and, not long after, organized a 60-mile charity ride to raise money for Devon Air Ambulance, which provided him the needed airlift to the hospital. Ah, yes, men are such simple creatures, easily distracted. What? <laughs>